Hello, welcome to something new here on Peston. I'm joined by one of the Labour leadership candidates, Lisa Nandy, and by George, who is a caricature artist. And what we're going to do here is, I'm about to ask Lisa a load of questions, very, very serious questions. Very serious. We're going to learn more about her and George is going to turn it into art. Are you both ready for this? No. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't get to see this till the very end. Why have I agreed to do this at all? Because it's <laughs> going to be brilliant. OK, right. right. We're we all ready? We'll judge of that later. OK, here we go. Lisa, what three words would you use to describe yourself? Um, future Prime Minister. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I'm not Come supporting on. you or anyone else. I was just, I thought we're it was a, very good. We're in a leadership good contest. Idea. Come on, people, I've got to stay on message. OK, so she wants to be Prime Minister, George, you got that. <laughs> Listen, your granddad on your mum's side was a Liberal peer. What is he drawing? Your dad, you're going to see it, was a Marxist academic. Big boots to fill. Is that where your ambition comes from? I do also have a mum, to be honest. What was she? <laughs> what was she? Exactly, just a woman in the house. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm all for women being powerful. She's a TV producer. She was, So if yeah. you were here, you know, going for a TV production job, I'd be talking about your mum. <laughs> neither of, the, neither of like, the male relatives you just named were Prime Minister or leader of the Labour Party. That's true. So Where no. does your ambition come from? Uh, well, I suppose it does come from my family background, in a sense, because a lot of people in my family, including my dad, who came here as an immigrant, had to fight big battles. But my mum's no exception to that either. Go, Lisa's <laughs> mum. Uh, sorry for being slightly <laughs> sexist. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? Oh, my God. I, like, literally... Would, you would be the last person I would tell, especially what? with a camera roll. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Not Thanks. a chance. Yeah. Lisa, you can, you can confide in me anytime. Oh, can I? Really? Have you done anything shall naughty? I, shall I just turn to camera <laughs> and let them know? Not no, a chance. Nothing naughty you want to share with George no. and me and the rest no. of the world. No. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? It, can I give you the same answer to all no. of these questions? No. Uh, Britney Spears? Yeah, or Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor Love a Swift. bit of Taylor. Yeah. Do you like her politics? Um, so Taylor Swift's politics are all right, aren't they? Well, I think I, it's I, Britney's that are a bit... But, you know, once we're mates, I'll sort that out. Britney? What's your favourite? Um, well, I'm a fan of really bad pop music, as you can probably tell. Do you but I also it No, I just, I just love it. She just gets in amongst it, doesn't she? Just doesn't give a stuff. <laughs> That's quite good. Have you ever been to see her live? Every single UK tour she's ever done. You're kidding. I have the credentials. Oh my God, she really does like I really it. Love it. I thought it was a bit of a joke. All right. <laughs> are you a night owl or a lark? Uh, at the moment, both. Oh, unfortunately. How much sleep are you getting? None. None? None. Even less than Margaret uh, Thatcher. But if I had to, uh, if I got the choice, I would definitely be a night owl. Night owl. Yeah. And then sleep in in the morning. Oh my God. There's only one eight o'clock in my day. Or well, there should be. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no bedtime in my day at the moment, oh, but that's got to change. In mind. What does your perfect Sunday look like? Um, well, at the moment, most of my Sundays look like hustings with Keir Starmer, Becky Long Bailey, and Emily Thornbury. But um, and no offence to them, I like them enormously. But I think my perfect Sunday would probably look like being in my jammers all day, um, is, probably watching a movie. Is it fair to say you like a pint? Yes. You how, do. How how did you know that? <laughs> Uh, a nice big Sunday lunch in a pub? Uh, no. No? No, no. no, just start with the pint. I what think. is your favourite pub in Wigan? Uh, Are you allowed to say that? No, yeah, no, I could say that. It's just that it will get me into a lot of trouble. With so, all the other pubs? Yeah, let me say... She loves Wigan, them all. No, but actually Patsy, who owns Wigan Central, scares me more than the others. So Wigan, Wigan Central. Central. Yeah. All right, I'll come and have a pint there sometime. <laughs> who, would you, who would play you in a movie of your life? Um, so I was asked this at the GMB hustings yesterday and I was struggling to think of an answer and then I thought, Meghan Markle's got a bit of time on her hands at the moment. Meghan Markle? I hear she's free. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and she's looking for money. Right. So she could be paid. So she she's got to raise a lot of money. I'm not, sure how much, I'm not sure how much this film would pay, to be honest, but um, yeah, I reckon Meghan Markle, not a bad shout. Well, how much would it cost to hire Meghan Markle, yeah, do you Probably reckon? a bit more than my, the movie of my life could afford. Are you a Meghan fan? Yeah, she's, I think she's really, she seems like a really nice person. I mean, I don't know her, so I don't know why I'm talking about her as if I do, but she seems like a nice person. What is, a, oh God, you're not going to answer this. What is your most embarrassing moment? Uh, it may be about to happen in about three minutes in that chair over there <laughs> behind us. Do you reckon? So watch this space. I have up no against, idea. Up against up Robert against Peston. the might of Robert Peston. The might of Peston. <laughs> Did you enjoy giving Piers Morgan some of it this morning? Uh, to be honest, I just, you know, you can't have a conversation with Piers 
organ without having an argument with him, can you? It's just not possible, like physically possible to talk to the man without having a row with him. Have you ever had a kind of off-air chat and you get on with him fine? No. <laughs> Not a Piers Morgan fan. No, well, no, Not a Piers Morgan fan. I don't, I don't, hate him. I don't know if he can get a lot of Piers really on there. Him, but he, you know, he's hard work, isn't he? What's your proudest moment? Uh, what's my proudest moment? Well, you know, very personal things about my family. You know, got a little boy. You know, give him birth. Uh, we're getting through it. <laughs> <laughs> Never doing it again. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> making not... good life choices to only do it once. As, as Maybe that said, it's not like a night out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one thing you couldn't live without? Uh, a family, I guess. What about a non, an inanimate object? <laughs> <laughs> you saying about my family? No, I, I, they are lovely. Object. It's All okay right. to say you like uh, your family. What's the one thing I couldn't live without? Probably my, my duvet cover. You do very I'm cover. sorry, I'm thinking a lot about sleep at the moment. And even, you know, even when I go on holiday to hot countries, I do like to have a duvet. You know, a lot of places you just get a sheet. I don't, it doesn't do for me. She's just like snuggling up on the sofa, getting the telly on. No, not really. In fact, in my spare time, I much prefer running. It's sort of the only, I know, I know, it's like, this is all, you prefer running all over the TV. place. I like to get a good night's sleep and then I like to go for a run to clear my head. That's I my did, favourite thing. I did part run the other day. I didn't just, it's good, isn't it? Have you ever done it? I've done, yeah, I've done a few in Wigan. We got one at Hay Hall in Wigan. I've done that a few times, but it is a bit embarrassing because there are, a lot of the people who do it are in the seventies and they're way faster than me. I mean, all of them are way faster <laughs> than me. I turned around at one point and there was not many people behind me. 700 in front. If you could have a superpower, <laughs> What would it be? Um, uh, so I remember Andy Burnham once being asked this in a leadership contest and saying he'd like to be invisible. Oh. And I remember thinking it's a good answer, but not in the middle of a leadership contest <laughs> where you really don't want to be invisible. Invisible so is not the So can thing. I say being able to be in two places at once? Being able to be, in, and where would you be? Where else would you be right now other well, than with me? Well, uh, either in the pub, to be honest, or at another hustings meeting that I'm having to miss to do this. Son. Yeah, oh, sorry, of course, all right, with my family. That is the answer. Yeah, that is the answer, yeah. On this one, <laughs> Thank you for the, the family. Promise. And, and can't go home pub. now, can I? Okay, so being in two places at once, you wouldn't fly or shoot fire or... Why would you shoot fire? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just what? trying to think of other things. <laughs> all right, this one, I, I, I don't Very care either. I'm, I'm a no one either of these. Dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Dogs. Big Never ones. Dogs. No, but I like big Big dogs. You like big dogs? <laughs> yeah, you know, we're nearly at the, the end of time, George. Not you the more big dog yip, yip, sort of. <laughs> I like the big ones, you know. The really big ones. Will you, <laughs> this is just so Do you have weird. time for a dog? No. Okay. I don't even have time to go to bed, as we've just discussed. <laughs> I certainly don't have time for a dog. How are you doing, George? Yeah, uh, what are there. you doing, just George? scribbling actually. on a dog here. Just scribbling on a dog. Yeah. Um, a big got, dog. Did you it is a big dog. It's actually my dog. I'll make sure I'm not rude about it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. I'm going to get you Is that ready. because I've done myself enough damage now <laughs> to be out of the contest? <laughs> Is that OK, George? Are we nearly there? Or nearly do you want me to add there, one yeah. in? I can add one more in if it would help. Uh, one more would be good. What, what is the one thing you would say, it's got to be quick, if your home was burning down? The duvet. Help? Oh, save. I thought you said say. <laughs> I was like, Help. save. Please call oh, yeah. the fire brigade. <laughs> save. Uh, well, okay. I mean, obviously the people in the house would oh. probably be the first priority. And Nushka, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Who wrote these questions? <laughs> we did. <laughs> save my right. duvet and George, my we're going to have to force the reveal. Okay. We are out Aren't of time. Are you ready for this? Oh, no, look, Lucy Pals behind you. Big moment. <gasps> big moment. What? Right. First of all, they are not running shoes. Can you explain They're it, George? Whatever no. that is. These are the big boots that you have to fill. You see, they're your granddad's boots there. Or your grand they're your mum's boots. Uh, yeah, there exactly. You go. This is, totally this is your Britney Spears school uniform. <laughs> oh, oh uh, that's good. There's your pop singing little um, microphone there. I love it. There's your pint of beer. Thank you. Um, I appreciate There's your that. nice little rosette there because you want to be PM. And there's where you want to be. Do you have to wear a rosette if you want to be PM? A at red some one? point, yeah, at some point. And there's a dog, and her name's Amber, by the way. You've really... Uh, what have you done to my Amber. nose? That's brilliant. You're not bothered about any of that. She's just looking at her nose. Yeah. <laughs> George, Sorry that's brilliant. That. Not bad. Well Thank you, It Campbell. could be worse. Thank you very much, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you.